Deploy the DRS achieves pole position for this year's season opener in Australia, making him one of the most successful debut drivers in Formula One. With the 126, he got pole position and two seconds behind him was Fernando Alonso. Close behind that was Sebastian Vettel with a good performance, but not as good as last year. Depoy the DRS had a bit of a moment in Q2 where he ran wide off the third to last corner. But as you can see, he was clearly happy with his result yesterday and he hopes he can have a good race today. This is the Australian Grand Prix. Hello everyone and welcome to my career mode. Um, I'm really, if you could try and make out what I'm saying, there's something really wrong with my microphone. It'll keep glitching and I don't know when it does, so it's just random. So let's get on to the track. the run to turn one. We'll be in a good position if we take it steady. No need to give ourselves more to do early in the race. So we have five lights and away we go, Alonso having a great start. We get a horrible start, sorry for the glitch in my voice, as we run down into turn one, we pull to the inside of Alonso. Are we going to make a move? Yes, we are, but it looks like the pack have dropped back. We've got a nice run up into turn two and onto this straight here. We might actually... I'm not ruling out a podium here, guys. This is amazing. Either way, we have to keep control and not make very many mistakes this race because Hamilton is still hot on our tail. So skipping a bit and... Oh, we go into the grass. Oh, no, we're on the grass. We're into the gravel trap. No. Oh, gosh. Rejoin. No, Hamilton's there. We're going to get swarmed. Oh, gosh. We've got to try and go around the outside. Oh, I've made such a bad mistake. I didn't break around the outside, and I've gone plowing into the gravel trap. We're down into fourth, literally as I say that. We make massive mistakes. So skipping onto lap three now. It's taken us this long to catch up with them, and still, I don't think we've really caught up. We cut that corner slightly. Just ignore that. <laughs> So anyway, uh, under the Qantas sign we go, trying to catch up with the Red Bull and the Mercedes. Wait, the two Red Bulls and the Mercedes, should I say. So, um, I don't know what on earth happened there. So let's see what we can do behind them. Oh God, I made a slight contact. That was very clumsy. I apologize for my driving. And our tires on lap three are already starting to get worn out. So we've got to make that. But look at that. Rosberg is going up the inside of Sebastian Vettel there on the straight. And we go into turn one. And now we have to hunt Weber. His home race, so skipping on to lap five now, our tyres are awfully worn. We just got called to go into the pits, we go a bit wide. Well, I said the fastest lap, and that would have been a good opportunity to overtake Weber, but it didn't end our way, let's just say. So we break really late, we've gone way too deep into the third corner there. Come into the fourth, we go very wide, go over the little hump, and yes, so... Let's see what we can do. So we're coming into the pits now. Um, Weber stayed out. Vettel has come in from behind him. So let's just see. There's Vettel. He's actually gained on us. That's very, very scary. As <laughs> That was probably the worst choice of words ever. So we're down into fifth after the, after the pit stops. And uh, it's clear road. So we have a nice run ahead to get these tyres up to temperature and catch some people up at the front so what can we do from here we're in will it be third yeah it'll be third because web is ahead no it'll, yeah we're in third so <laughs> skipping now onto lap six let's see where weber is bottas alonso right where did web where did weber go has, has Weber had a problem? Weber in race maybe had a problem. Uh, sorry about the glitch. I said Weber in his home race maybe had a problem. And I can't see him. Vettel is right behind me. So what happened? Weber. Weber, I said, because this is just getting beyond the joke. So 
Yeah, that's a bit strange. So now we have to hunt Hamilton and see if we can get first place. That's a bit of a big ask as we skip onto lap eight. But we can see him and we are catching him drastically. I guess I could put it into that context. But anyway, coming onto the third corner. And we've just set the fastest lap time. I am putting Hamilton in the pure pressure now. What can we do before the race finish? If you remember some, I don't know why um, the first career mode got deleted. That's why I'm redoing this. We came first, so if we can redo that moment, that would be a star image in this channel. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying now. Skipping on to lap nine, we are gaining on Hamilton every single lap. Look at him. We can practically see him. Just clear your brains after hearing that sentence. Yes, we can practically see him. Well, no way. So, after coming round that corner, we have got to try and push as hard as we can. If you don't know, we are, I am in rich mix right now, trying to push and push and push, like our engineer said. Skipping on to lap 10 now. Hamilton, as you can see, I've put it back up to rich. I didn't want to waste too much fuel so cutting that corner slightly running wide out of the exit and now we have to push as hard as we can if we want to get this win so we have five laps remaining uh, enough time I think unless we make some sort of stupid mistake to catch Hamilton so skipping on to lap 11 now it's taken us one lap and we've gotten nowhere <laughs> I'm starting to get worried now Maybe Hamilton is just too fast in that Mercedes from the Lotus. So he goes a bit wide. You can see the dust from the grass. And we are breaking as late as possible to try and catch up. And that might not be a good idea. Oh my gosh, this is getting tense. We are right on the back of Hamilton for the race win. We're going to pull to the inside, coming into the third last corner. What can we do? We're going to go up the inside. This is such close racing. Now we have to make the move soon. It's the 12th lap out of 15. And oh gosh, oh my gosh, we've gone into the gravel trap. That was a scary moment. We have to focus, focus now. We nearly went round the outside into the final corner. Will we have DRS? Yes, we will. That was a stupid question, but he has more. He had a better exit than us. So, oh, this is getting so tense. Are we going to make a move up the inside? Yes, we are. He's broken really early. He runs wide. Maybe that was us. I'm not too sure. So we have DRS again, using Kurz and DRS at the same time to get the best straight line speed. Pulling to the inside into turn three. We, we've done it. We've done it, lads. We've moved up into first place. Two, three laps to go, should I say. And we have got the lead. We are in prime position in our first Grand Prix. I said just then, because the voice glitched, I said we're in prime position to win the first Grand Prix and Hamilton has already dropped back to six tenths. I don't know what that is now. And Vettel is seven seconds behind. He's not having a good office. Wow, this is getting crazy. So we cut the final corner now to win. There's actually lap cars to win our first ever career mode series video. This has been the best and we come home to win the Australian Grand Prix. Now that was a tense race. <laughs> to Mark Webber. Oh, he DNF'd. Oh, not good. So did Daniel Ricciardo. Not a good day for the Australians at all, especially in their home race. Wow, a win in our first ever racing career mode. It was a good battle with Hamilton as well, especially. And I wonder how the rest of the season's going to turn out.
So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe if you find my content good. It really helps me out. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. And goodbye.